I'm Zainab Sagan. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the McGovern Institute at MIT. I'm working in Nancy Canwisher's lab. My research involves um, looking at brain structure and function in humans. My goal is to try to understand how brain structure gives rise to brain function. So uh, over the past, uh, I think, 20 years, we've really taken off in trying to understand what type, what brain regions um, and what parts of the brain respond and process different mental functions. So by creating a map of how these regions connect with other brain regions, I can then have an understanding of what connections are needed for that a brain region processes. And so by um, uh, looking at this sort of piecemeal throughout the brain, we can try to get a bigger picture understanding of, um, of how each of these components of the brain work together um, and how uh, we can seamlessly view and perceive the world around us. Um, so this image uh, depicts nerve fibers in the brain, um, and uh, nerve fibers in the human brain are extremely complex, but uh, we can use um, MRI to estimate these pathways, and we can look at subsets of these pathways. Um, and importantly, we can try to understand what these pathways are doing with respect to the regions that they connect. What I'm doing is color coding the direction of these fibers. Blue is for fibers that travel up and down in the brain. Red is uh, for fibers that travel left, right. And green um, depicts the fibers that travel from the front of the head to the back of the head. Um, I match this image with the same individual's um, functional data um, uh, acquired with functional neuroimaging. Um, and so that tells me about uh, what what types of brain regions respond in, in what manner to different types of tasks. And I can do this across multiple individuals and, and get a sense of, uh, of behavioral um, as well as functional um, individuality and how an individual's um, own brain anatomy gives rise to their uh, individual brain function. So um, some uh, examples of the practical applications of this research um, include uh, uh, the prediction and um, perhaps the diagnosis and intervention of neurodevelopmental disorders like dyslexia. Um, and so if we were able to use this type of image to infer future development of reading ability, then I think it would be a great avenue of future research for trying to look at interventions. Ultimately, I think it would be amazing to have an understanding of how this relates to human behavior and also how it can constrain learning of new tasks, how uh, the brain can age and how it can develop. Um, and I think that's one of the most exciting things that can be done.